My name is Maurus Canduso, I'm a field application engineer for uh, Steam Microelectronics and I'm focused on the sensor portion and in particular to the MEMS devices. Today we're going to investigate what you can do for a particular kind of application um, with the, our six axis. The latest six axis, if you type uh, LSM6 DSO in our web page, st.com you can find uh, let's say a lot of information about this device is a combination of excel and gyro is a six axis imu uh, you have also several video on the bottom how to make a fast evaluation of that uh, you have application note uh, um, and uh, design tip to understand better how it works this device the most important thing is to start from the data sheet so the data sheet you see the main characteristic of the devices okay and you can explore that think about then this device as a big fifo um, can communicate in sqrc in spi can communicate in also in i3c uh, as the possibility to work this as a master sensor and have some other sensor in as a slave uh, you can also leverage the fact that you have a 16 finistein machine that can work in parallel to detect some gesture uh, but the, the things then we want to make sure that you get from this particular demo is uh, uh, detecting the relative angle uh, from one device like for example a desktop or a tablet or a laptop and then you can folder two part if you folder the two part you want to know exactly the relative angle between the two we put in place a demo and i am happy to show you today this demo is based on a motherboard, the motherboard is called uh, ProfiMem Tool, is a motherboard based on a uh, STM32 um, F4, a Cortex uh, M4. Uh, we have an adapter on top of the motherboard with the SM6 DSO. This is one portion of the, your, uh, um, let's say, uh, laptop, and this is the other portion of your laptop, so the folder part, with another SM6 DSO. They are communicated to the same bus through this cable and the motherboard is communicated to your PC through a USB connection. We have a graphical user interface that make me the possibility to uh, communicate with that and give me the angle between the two part, the two folded part, using Excel and Gyro, that will be the section combo, and just using the Excel portion. So here, for example, is completely open and the angle between Excel and, and Excel and plus gyro are the same. So 178 uh, degree. I can close, go to 90 degree and close my uh, laptop and I can get zero degree. Perfect. One of the main advantages to use Excel and gyro data and not just the Excel is the robustness respect and noise if i shake this board you will see how the combo uh, value uh, related to the angle will be very stable why the just the one uh, for the excel will be not stable at all now i'm moving and you see how much the, the value is changing so that is one advantage to use the combination of uh, raw data from excel and gyro and elaborate that Assuming that now this uh, device uh, composing two parts, uh, you want to change also the, the position and you want to make that also a 90 degree, let's say, in this position. So you see that now the data from the Excel is not uh, realistic at all. Give you like 50 degree instead of, uh, let's say, to be close to zero. So now try to open that. So now we are at 90 degree and Excel is still working, but not uh, the data is not reliable like Excel and Gyro. Go to 180. Let's folder and do the 360. And you see how much is stable the data coming from the combination of Excel and Gyro. If I shake, you see then it's stable the data from Excel and Gyro, while the data from Excel only is not stable. So you can really appreciate the fact that you have uh, two six-axis IMU in the two folded part in order to be able to detect as much as possible the angle 
and let's say select the feature that you want based on the 360 orientation and the tilt between the two parts. That is in short the demo for today. If you need more information, please go to our website, st.com. As I show you at the beginning of the presentation, you have a lot of collateral, a lot of uh, application note, technical uh, note, uh, technical documents, so you can leverage on that. This demo in particular today was focused on application like uh, um, laptop, uh, uh, tablet, where you have a folded part, and now you can measure the relative angle between the two uh, lead parts. Thank you so much for your attention. Mm -hmm.